So as a formulation developer, the patient and the patient's needs are really, really critical. We have the great opportunity to design what is gonna be the final product that the patient holds in their hand. Formulation is one of the most critical aspects of the drug development process. It basically forms the recipe of your medicine. So once there's a molecule that's selected, that people are excited about, that they want to enter into clinical development, that's really where things start to ramp up where you're really starting to get to know the molecule to understand its chemical and physical stability, to understand how it behaves with other ingredients that you might need to actually make a formulation. So drug substances have a number of uh, critical attributes that we're working to consider as part of our development activities. So even things as simple as the particle size and density. And it's really critical that in our role, we have a patient-centric mindset. Being able to identify and develop a, a product that has the right release characteristics, the right frequency of administration, those are core to our remit. But even more subtle things like the appearance of the tablet, the size, shape, color. All of those are influenced by formulation sciences and have an impact on the patient experience. There are different formulation tricks and tools that we have that can increase the solubility that actually allow that drug to be absorbed by the body. For a drug that's administered orally, it's important for that drug to actually be absorbed into your body. And so it needs to pass through the GI tract and actually get absorbed. Very large protein-based molecules tend not to be absorbed through the GI tract. And so that really sort of takes that whole oral route of administration off the table. You typically do not see those types of medications in a tablet presentation. And so the most common non-oral route of administration would be some sort of injectable presentation. So if the volume is really small, that could be like a pen injector or, you know, just a a very small dose from a syringe, either a pre-filled syringe or you know just a syringe from your doctor's office. You can imagine getting a vaccine. What we typically work on is known as drug device combination products. So what this really means is that we have a medicine that is coupled with a device in order to deliver the drug. Drug device combination products is a very important class of products and the reason for that is it offers different treatment options for patients. It not only delivers the medication directly to certain target tissues and organs, but overall offers a more simplified patient experience. As we look across the development uh, continuum, early phase formulations are often built around simplicity. But then once we've hit the major early phase milestones and we know that we have an asset that can benefit human health, the level of investment increases significantly. We look to develop what we term the final market formulation, designing the tablet or capsule that ultimately the patient is going to interface. And it has to have not only the characteristics that allow it to be a functioning medicine, but we have to be able to manufacture that with the appropriate quality at an industry scale. Formulation development is definitely a team sport. There's many different disciplines and subject matter expertise that are critical in designing a formulation and then ultimately producing those supplies and getting those supplies to the patient. Not only are we developing new medicines, but really pushing the frontiers of understanding formulation design, material science and engineering.